So have you ever wanted to be a toy hunter on the big screen, on YouTube, doing your thing? I have a few tips that will help you do so. Now if you just follow this guide and you stick with it, trust me, there will be results. You will gain a large fan base. Um, disclaimer, that may not be true. Anyways, guys, I do have some tips for you guys to be a toy hunter slash YouTuber, and this is how you do it. Number one, you have to have a cool intro. Long little chief. See, that wasn't that hard. You just gotta make yourself one of those or have somebody make it and you're good to go. Number two, you have to put the camera in random spots. Walk up to it, walk around it, walk near it. Don't look at it because that wouldn't be genuine. Or do something like this. What's up guys? So today we are gonna go on a toy hunt. I have not done that in about three weeks I think it was now that we got that out of the way you have to have a solid game plan and make sure you let your viewers know exactly what that is we did some toy hunting in Florida but I haven't actually been on a dedicated toy hunt video in about three and a half weeks maybe even longer because that last toy hunt video let's be honest it sucked but today we're going to Knoxville hoping we can find the new Infinity War wave uh, hoping for a black knight because that's the one that I'm really looking for in the wave I already have Thor and Ant-Man and we're gonna be looking for some new black series as well also you can count me in on the new 3.75 inch figures i'm really digging those so we're gonna check that out too so guys without further ado let's get into this hunt video and uh let's go find something good number four make sure that you are dropping other youtubers names let people know that you are friends with those youtubers and that you talk to them on a daily basis people seem to like when you have connections so make sure that you let that known that you do have those all right guys so i am almost all set pack for ctv2 it is going to be Insane. I, I, I'm, I'm nervous right now. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, making the drive to Ohio, staying at Cincy's house, and then I'm meeting up with Josh, Esso, Sal, um, Toy Bills, Kyle Phillips, and Cincy himself, of course. So, number five, introduce the store that you are going to. All right, guys, we're going into the GameStop, the stop of games. However, you have to do number six right after you do number five. Number six, you have to talk to the camera about anything that you hope to pick up or hope to find in there. Something that you're looking for, what you had for breakfast, um, what you, what kind of coffee you're going to get afterwards, uh, possibly what you're doing next week um, at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, and just talk about stuff like that. Um, I don't like to film in here because they literally hound you as soon as you walk in, so if I find it, You know what, on second thought, don't do that. Number six. Film a dope hunt. All right, guys. So really, there was some good stuff in that GameStop. They had the brand new Deadpool pops. They had the brand new um, the WB Shawn Michael pops. They had some clearance Black Panther figs, even though they're like a cent less than what they usually go for. But they did have Malakis and Thor from the Infinity War Wave Two of Legends. However, today is really a hunt for Black. So guys, I don't know what the next stop is going to be. I know Knoxville is a few miles out. We're going to a flea market and a peddler's market. This is to see if we can come up with some good pickups. So let's see what we can find. All right, guys, we are inside a Target. Let's see what we can find. All right, so as for Black Series, we do have a Chewy. So that's pretty cool. Kylo, Kylo, uh, Maz, Poe. Okay, so that's pretty cool to see a Chewy. That's a good sign. Uh, there's some of the pack. And there's a king cobra. Oh, what'd you find? Dang, that's a lot. A bunch of Kylos or what? No. <laughs> Alright, so they do have a pretty good stock of legends. Um, let's see what they got. They do have a paladin, which seems to be everywhere now. Polaris, Kitty Pride. A bunch of these Deadpools that were once GameStop exclusive. A Seamus there. Some vintage wave. I think I might get this uh, Groot at Walmart next time I see it, just because I don't really feel like getting a three pack from Target. All right, and for wrestlers, we do have a Diesel, Roddy Wright Piper, Randy Orton Bray Wyatt, Big Cass, Big Cass, a Dean Ambrose with the Intercontinental title, which that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. I do need a Dean Ambrose whenever I get Roman Reigns from Josh, so it might be something I pick up today. Let's find out. Oh, look. Old school Roman Reigns from NXT. I'm gonna send that to IP real quick. If I was looking for. All right, guys, and for pop figures, I know a lot of you don't like to see this kind of stuff, but 
for the people that do like to see the pop figures here is some stranger things i'm pretty sure that chase is gone because a dude on instagram named Knox pops grabbed one of these i'm not sure if it was from here but you know that chase is gone it's sunday there's not going to be any chases here unless i just brought them out of the box back which is highly doubtful all right guys toys r us let's do this that was in my video good Damn, i want this jamie for real really yeah, it's right. Alright guys, so I don't know where the legends are anymore. They've moved them, if there is any left. Um, but here's some Star Wars stuff. Some wrestling stuff, Cedar stuff everywhere. Alright, so we've got a bunch of Zuvios and a ton of gins. Um, Adam Akbar and Officer, he's 40%. So 29 dollars 29 makes this $17.99, that's not bad. But they have so many, I'll just wait for a while. There's also a Daredevil right there. Like they're what? Legends are 19, so 19, like that makes it what? 11.99 for a Daredevil? That's not bad at all. And then we have Electra, Jackal, Daredevil, Jackal, Daredevil. Batman SH figure arts, how much is this with 40% off? Are you serious? This is 32.99, so we're gonna think about this, possibly buy this. I've looked at this for a while, so let's see. All right, guys, last stop probably tonight. Books a million. Let's see if there's anything in here. I need to buy something. All right, guys, so I really want this right here, so I think I might actually pick this up. I'm going to look around, but I think I might get it. I am going to see what Brooklyn says about this. If she wants it, then we're going to pick it up. If not, probably might pick it back. I don't know yet. You want it? No? thought you would. Why? Really? She looks good though. I bet she does. Yeah, she does. She's one of the hottest in the show. Of course she does. And while you're doing number six, make sure you do number seven. Freak out over nothing or something very little. All right, guys, I am kind of nervous, but I'm going to bypass this, even though those are $5, and see what we got down here. Thank the Lord, there he is. Look at this. In number eight, my personal favorite, do a cool montage, kind of like this one. Number nine, this is a big one. You have to follow this rule. Do not, I repeat, do not film Funko Pops. I'm totally kidding with you guys. Film whatever you want to. Funko Pops are cool. I like them. I film them. Oh well. Now number 10, show your complete haul for that day and maybe something that came in the mail. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video and I managed to get these three awesome figures this week plus a Snoke that is actually uh, on display right now. Uh, this one right here, Brooklyn actually found inside of a Walmart just hanging on the peg. I'm assuming because there is a little bit of box damage that is probably underneath a shelf for a very long time until they found it. This one, I finally found my Black Knight. As you guys know, in this video, I've been telling you guys I wanted Black Knight for like two or three days now since that's what the video has banned out. Um, Black Knight finally got him, opening him up right now on Foxy Friday. And we also got Forlom. I know this is a very, very sought-after figure right here. Uh, one really cool bounty hunter. Um... I'm excited to have them for long. Number 11, when your video is finished, make sure that you have a cool sign-off phrase, something along the lines of, stay foxy. Oh, and don't forget number 12, you gotta have a cool outro. Let's go. Yo, once 
Once again, I'm back around. Uh, rush it back in style.